Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and bring you guys uh, another game from Warcraft 3. I did say I was going to like produce some content of Warcraft 3 stuff. I've just been trying to find like proper games to show you guys. So today I have a game that I'd recommend called Survival Chaos and you can see the version is 2.99. Now Survival Chaos is essentially a three-way I don't want to call it a survival, like a base defense game. You'll see it in like 10 seconds once this game loads in. Uh, essentially, you have one of like 12 races or 11 races that you pick. You also get a foundation bonus, which customizes your race a little bit more towards how you want to play. Um, and then your goal is to be the last man standing, basically. You can see the minimap. Uh, there's going to be four bases. One, two, three, four. And you send three ways. Mid, left, and right. Um... So here we go. Let's see. Uh, he picked all pick. That kind of sucks. Because all pick, they just go for like kind of OP gay strats. But you know, we're not here to QQ. So is there a random option? Can I like dash random? Uh, AR. Uh, random. Okay. So, um, um, okay. Well, guess we're not allowed to random. Let's play troll. Um, what should we do here? I think there's a really interesting troll upgrade that I like here. So what these are, this is your foundation bonus, and this allows you to, pretty much if you read here, customize it a little bit. So we're going to go with, I like mind control. Uh, this is plus one level of mind control, increases your stronghold and witch doctor mana by 10%, upgrades more up. Unlocks more upgrades inside this building. Reduces cooldown of defensive stronghold spells by 30%. This is kind of like a unique one. It's a base defense thing. Most people are like really offensive. They just pick like unit upgrades or hero upgrades. I kind of like doing things a little bit different. So what this is going to do is this unlocks the ability for me to buff up my towers. Um, it also gives my towers splash damage, which I think that's the only thing that I've seen that does that. Uh, now we have three barracks here. Uh, obviously, left sends here, up, bottom. They can tier up four times. Each time you upgrade them, additional units come out. It's always the same in terms of, like, siege, melee, air, or caster. So tier two always creates siege units. Tier three always adds a caster. Tier four is always, like, your heavy, you know, big boy siege damage. Um, unless, of course, you change it with your foundations. And then in the middle, you have damage slash range damage slash... Uh, defense, then your caster upgrade, and then this is income slash unique to your race. Um, let me see a little bit on what people are doing here. We can we can try to take. I'm just gonna see what happened. Uh, I if I clicked that like a second earlier, I would have had T2 before this come out. It's okay though. Uh, we're just gonna put some mid pressure. So um, you also have these little buildings here, and these little buildings will add additional units. Um, or sorry, well, this one is additional units, but there are additional upgrades inside your towers that are a lot more niche um, to kind of like how you want to play as well. Like it mainly just upgrading units and stuff, but there's like really cool synergy. Like some races have this, for example, which literally will add an extra unit in each barrack. And then for each upgrade you get on it, it does more stuff. And then through your foundation, depending on the foundation bonus, you can level one of these to its max level. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, and then there's heroes that come out, which are kind of overpowered and break the game. But we'll talk about that when the heroes come. So we're against Blood Priest, who is really weak, which is good because we're playing like turtle strategy. Um, so definitely that's awesome that we're up against him there. What is our racial bonus? We have plus evasion minus HP. That's pretty good. That's like, it's not really that bad. Um, we have T2 from the bottom side as well. Red went Pike Slingers, I think, which is... I don't know if that's Magic Res and just, like, ranged unit damage stuff, but he's got Pike Slingers. It's basically, like, early game push. I don't remember much about Night Elf and what he did. I should probably get Healing Wave, too. Save for it. It's always interesting to like note how this game works though, right? Because upgrades are are like really active, meaning I don't know the retroactive, I don't know the word for it. If I were to unlock basic voodoo right now and it researches, all of my all of my guys that are on the field right now would get the bonus. 
Looks like green might be taking over. I don't know if green is taking over or if I'm kind of taking over. I also would like to get... I guess I'll just get the basic voodoo. I wanted to wait a little bit because his next wave is coming in. Three, two, one. His wave is probably like right here. Or not. Did he do bonus units men, maybe? No, I don't think so. You also have like defensive foundation bonuses. You, or sorry, you have defensive stronghold things you can use. They're usually really long cooldown. Uh, because of the way we spec, we have lower cooldown, which is really nice. Uh, and we're probably just going to nuke this backpack right here. Or maybe, well, we don't really have to. We can wait. So what this does is it's a 16 second stun and a really small AoE. And uh, this is like super OP AoE damage. He just captured a neutral building, which means he may have just taken over Lumber Mill. And his raiders... Okay, so he did. He went, he went T2. So because he's T2, remember that siege damage. Thankfully, he doesn't have any points into damage, though. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get spear upgrade, which is going to give us splash damage and mega damage to our spear towers. The reason why I did that is there's no way I can push against him, and uh, there's no way I can get that gold for my voodoo hut at the moment. So we're just going to try to turtle and defend right here. We're going to use our 16 second stun when his second wave comes so we can stun four striders. That's going to be our goal. This will push out kind of naturally, so I don't really have to worry. We do have to make sure we spawn units here though, because we do not want the uh, we do not want our base to actually take damage. But remember, we're going to turtle. We want to wait a little bit for the next strider. If we can, there's the next strider. So we're going to click our other building and right that's good enough. And now I'm going to take these to hit in the back. Just like that. And then the unit spawn. So we took a little bit of damage. Not too much. Um, really is only 500, which is really like nothing in comparison. It's just because it's a T1, so it looks like it took a lot. And now we're going to tier against him as well. Also, our bonus, like our one of our other major bonuses from this foundation, is we get plus one the level of mind control. Mind control gives our witch doctors a chance to take over the unit and give it to us, which is really good. This guy's gonna hit a little. Oh, never mind, he went down. Good. But we don't get that upgrade until a little bit later. And honestly, I think I'm going to stop. I don't know why I got melee damage. I should not have picked melee damage. Uh, I should just get spearheads because this increases the towers. It increases the voodoo huts, which are these. And it increases the towers. And it increases my headhunters and ward bears. Although I think ward bear is the guy that comes here. So it still is for the ranged units. Spawned one guy here. He's pushing me pretty hard. I don't know how or why. Even though he's just basic T1 with two points in damage. Like, we have pretty much the same upgrades. Okay, we're pushing this guy back now. He actually went straight to tier 3. I don't know why, but this guy really wants to kill me. He spent another 1,500 gold going to tier 3 here. Which means that either A, I have to tier 3 against him, or there's another there's another alternative that I could do is uh, I can spend 1,500 gold, upgrade my fortress, which I would rather do, and then I can spend 1,000 gold and create a hero. And the reason why I would do that is because sending a hero in a T2 lane when they have T3 means that you're going to be stalling a lot. Uh, since you have less units per, which means it gives more time for your hero to kill and get XP and level up. The thing is, though, is I have a pretty big wave already, and I have healing, which means I should be able to hold for a little while against him. We are still not pushing out here, but this doesn't do any damage, so we don't really have to worry. He is 3 for 3 now, though. We're like 3 for 1. 2 for 1 there. Red captured a neutral building. I don't have to worry about him. He is... 
he's taken on mid means he's got really good GPM. My GPM's probably like in the middle, maybe even the lowest. 612. Actually, no, red's, red's ahead. Or red's the lowest, sorry. Okay, so we went with the level 2. Now, instead of actually... Instead of actually going and saving for that hero, I think I'm immediately going to go with Voodoo Ward Bear, which will give Corruption Aura. Did they get bonus attack range from that? Oh yeah, also since we have a Stronghold 2 now, we get access to all of these upgrades, which Mind Control is in here. And we also get access to the next set of upgrades in here. These won't really do much damage, it's okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't know that my towers actually hurt my units with their splash damage. The Fury of the Ancients. I think green sent a hero mid. That's what it sounds like. Fury of the Ancients sounds like a night elf thing to say. You also get a base aura. Okay, so he sent the hero, but he didn't send it mid. Um, he probably sent it left then. We're going to do probably, honestly, probably minus unit movement speed. I like the uh, minus unit movement speed. Rather than minus unit damage, I don't care much about the unit damage. Just because, like, heroes are not really affected by that. So we need to also get... Let's take a look here. We got a lot of gold. We got to not just do nothing with our gold. So let's go ahead and get... Um, I don't want to get mind control yet. It's too low level, in my opinion. I'm going to probably just upgrade this Voodoo Ward Bearer immediately. This is pretty good here. Where's the Beast Rider? Beast Rider bonus damage is really nice. Um, I could try... I can't send a hero mid, actually. I would like to send a hero mid... Just to get some XP, let's see, maybe, when's my wave coming? Eight seconds? Okay. Is, let's, let's see if this works. I'll probably send uh, a Disabler mid? Who would I want mid? A Nuker? No, I want a Disabler. Because if I send, I'm scared that if I send a Nuker mid, he's going to try to, like, get out of position to kill everything. So I'll just send a Disabler. Plus, he's, like, a little harder to level, I feel. Did he go T4 yet? He doesn't have T3, but do you see this fat wave right here? <laughs> That's going to be a little scary, but we'll be alright. Okay, I'm also going to send some bonus units in mid. Just to help him make sure he's got a little front line so he doesn't get bullied. Okay, now we're going to save for a hero in this top lane. It's most likely going to be Battle Master. And right when I train him, I'm either going to hit the Voodoo Spirits or the Stasis Lock on this whole... I don't know if I'm going to do the back line or the front line. I may just, like, Stasis Lock this line here. Blue captured a neutral building. Hopefully that means he didn't... Oh, wait, I'm blue. Just kidding. That's right. Oh, yeah. So that was a cool thing about the Ward Bear is that the Ward Bear can capture neutral buildings. So he just took over this, which is kind of scary because I think he might think that I T2'd. So he might T2 down here now, which kind of sucks. But let's see what happens. We're doing all right. Level four in mid. Nobody else has summoned the hero here. Uh, he's got a, a big boy push. We don't even have one point in income, which is also like base armor defense stuff. So a little scary, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, this is going to spawn at a bad time because it's going to fight here, which means there's no way I'm going to have... Well, I may have another wave, but I mean 30 seconds. I don't think I can stall 30 seconds for that. It's always nice to have, you know, like, a wave spawning right as they attack, just so, like, they don't, like, just run around and hit your barracks. But here we go. This is, like, a big boy defense, so we are going to send out... Let's wait. Turtle, wait. Okay. That was a lot of mana I spent, but, I mean, that's a really big wave, to be honest. Like, that's a really big wave. And guess what? I can also get mono regen if I need to. You know, I mean... That's not a bad investment, to be honest. Getting it this early... Look at that. And he's now level 6. The same level as Vol'jin. <laughs> Go get him, Battlemaster. 
So we are not going to upgrade this to tier 3. We want to try to unit star from a little bit. Remember, he gets less gold than us in this lane because I'm not spawning my T3, which means I don't give him a ranged unit, well, an extra, or a spellcaster, or the air unit. Um, I'm going to get Ward Bear upgrade again because he has the minus corruption aura, uh, which is good because armor shred is OP. We just got, let's see, I want Feral Roar because this is bonus damage to all units that are organic. Troll has all organic units, so I don't know what organic unit. I guess the only organic unit it wouldn't have is the Serpent Ward that spawns from a level 4 Voodoo Ward Bear, maybe? We're also pushing on every side, which is great. We've got every lane pushed right now. We're winning mid, we're winning top, and we're winning bottom. Uh, we also have a hero in mid, so our gold gain, our GPM should be caught up to everyone. Okay, we're 734. That's pretty good. Um, everything looks good right now. Let me check my upgrades, though. Uh, I still only have one point in armor. We need an armor point really badly. These things kind of have, like, diminishing returns, meaning the static value of the armor and the, all the damages are the same, but the gold just keeps going up and up and up and up. I also may want to put a point into income, but I'll just chill for a bit. This basic empowerment is really ridiculous later on. Also, we got super lucky here. And I say we got lucky because our wave pushed without the hero, which means our hero stays mid to get XP. And this wave is going to go push against here, and hopefully he'll try to defend it. The thing is, is he just lost his upper barracks, which gave him a ton of gold. So he may not even have an ability to defend against this, which would be crazy. Um, we have level 1 hut. I think we're going to tier our bottom. Because he should be... I don't know how he hasn't T2'd yet. Okay, so this is going in. Um, he summoned the hero mid. Okay, so he's got a hero. What's happening up here? He just used his T2 base skill. And he used his T1 base skill. So he just did everything he has. This guy will probably go down. But he's pretty tanky. Not only did he do T2 and T1 skill, but he also summoned the hero as well. So, that's going to be another big wave we're going to have to push against. Uh, which means I'm going to go one point in income right now, because this gives the uh, 500 HP for buildings and building armor. And I think we may want to go Shadow Spears for the extra big boy damage. It's either that or we go T3, but I don't want to T3 against him right now, because it's going to give him bonus gold. So, you know, I can be a little... Kappa Greedy Kappa. I think this is the best. I think Shadow Spears with maybe even like Spearheads. Yeah, this is the this is the way to go. We're going to do it. This is like kind of risky, but let's see. He also did T2 against us. His Huntresses have 5 points in damage, so mm, they're kind of scary. Our hero is still chilling here, so he is good. Um, we'll probably summon Vol'jin against him top, so we have a high-level hero. This is a little alarming, um, but I think that my towers will do enough. Hopefully they get in range of the towers. Hopefully they get in range of the towers. Okay, one guy's in range of the towers, but that's not good because I'm just splashing all my units, really. Okay, I like hitting the back there. Okay, and he lost his bottom barracks, which means the only barracks he can upgrade is mid, which is bad because that's, like, the lane I am. Ooh, wow, they just, like, destroyed my guys. Oh, six points in damage Huntresses now, that's why. Please, no, leave the barracks alone. Hey, buddy. That's not... Oh, my... I have to, I have to do this right now. Okay, we did a little bit of a misplay there. I didn't know they were gonna fucking destroy it like that. Let's see, so he's coming in a second. He's almost there. Okay, he's like literally right here in the base. I need these to hit in the back though. Come on, get in the back. In the back. Hit his back line. Kill the casters. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see. What do I need? Building defense. Okay. It might be time to... Do I need to go casters yet? I'm trying to think. 
Mm. Oh, are they gonna hit the base? No, they're not. Oh, nice. Nice job, Mr. Shadow Hunter. Okie dokie. I'm scared of this guy down here. Do I T3 against him? I may. I might want to grab. Might be time to get mind control. He has T3 mid. He may be pushing T4 mid as well. What do we get? Barricades? Okay, that's the income. Well, just to be safe then, I'm just gonna T3 this one. I really would like to, like, kill someone, someone's barracks, but that's... I don't think that's gonna happen right now. Especially with my lack of defense upgrades. Yeah, like, his, his bounce is, like, annihilating me now. Look at this. Yeah. That's spooky. We need just straight... straight defense. He summoned a hero top against me, but his hero is level 1, which means if we kill this hero, he essentially wasted 1k gold. Okay, everything's looking okay on this side. I'm gonna get another armor upgrade. We're doing okay. Red has a kind of big wave. I have to be careful of this because he has... does he have T4? No. He doesn't have T4, but he's got a big wave coming, and I've got to be able to defend against this. Remember, Red lost both of his barrackses, so he can only upgrade his middle, which means he's going to put a lot of pressure on me. Um, hmm. That looks kind of bad. Oh, nice nuke. Oh, nice nukes. Get him, Shadow Hunter. Okay, looks like he, he is, in fact, pushing in with his hero. So we're going to have to pay attention to that. A hero costs 1k, so we have 500 gold effectively to spend. Maybe we get... Maybe we get another point of armor. Fuck, he summoned two heroes top. Okay, so that's interesting. He's got two heroes top, and I just spent gold right now on a hero. Um, what's the best way to do this right now? Well, let's think. Do I need a tank top? I think I need a tank because this is this guy is like anti-hero. He's trying to kill heroes. So that's the assassin type hero. But do I need a tank for the mid? Mm. I don't even think the tank will be up in time for here. So maybe I just want to summon battle master mid. We're going to do that. So battle master, you are going mid. And then we're just going to summon some units here. Very good. I want to hit this back line if I can. Alright. I want to get a... Do I want defense upgrade? Uh, I want one defense upgrade. Okay, now I got to be careful because there's a hero bottom lane too. Thankfully his hero is only level 1, but we have a hero in every lane. When this happens, you just have to... Got to make sure you've got the goal to defend yourself. Um... So, we don't even have a melee unit to send up here. So, that... Mm. He's got two heroes, and he's a tier ahead of us. Um, this, this could be spooky. Do we have our X ability? We need to see if we have Voodoo Spirits up. Also, this mono regen has been doing work. I'm really happy about that. He doesn't have too many units, so that's another, another positive thing. We do have Voodoo Spirits up, so that's good. And this guy's gonna go down. How is this looking? We've got a good push against him. Is he gonna Starfall? Check his mana. Check his mana. Doesn't look like he's got Starfall. No Starfall yet. 1500 gold. I got a turtle in wait. Got a lot of gold now. I think I'm gonna actually... Spec Voodoo Ward Bear right now. That gives me enough to make Shadow Priest and two melee units. So here we go. It's coming up, boys. 
Okay, one, two, three. I'm just gonna stun. Well, actually, I'll Voodoo Spirits right now. Perfect! My unit wave came in. So I need to just hit this back line here. Okay, how's everything looking? Pretty good. Um, do we have T3, T2, T3, T2? We still want to hit this back line here. Good. Awesome. They're pretty much both dead. Okay. Um, everything looks fine. He's going to push me out with a hero. So I should get ready for this bottom side. Um, best way to defend against it. Income? Empowerment's going to be really good in a little bit. I think we should just get Voodoo. Voodoo is really good here. Should probably start training Mind Control now and get our other upgrades. Um, is defense good? Defense is actually maxed for our level. Chance to stun is good. It's really cheap. Uh, Feral Roar is also good. Health regen is good. Um, let's just maybe... What's happening over here as well? Oh, we're pushing in at his mid. Okay. Uh, we're pushing top now, so that's alright. We do need to save for a hero. It's probably going to be our nuker. He will absolutely kill this guy. Um, is he T2? He's T2 against my T3. I could go T4 because he's actually trying... He's trying really hard to kill this guy's fortress. So maybe I should T4 bottom without him noticing. Remember, T4 adds the siege unit, which is pretty big. I might also want to get some damage upgrades. We have, like, virtually no damage as well. Uh, another thing to do for damage is rush stronghold level 3, which unlocks voodoo 3, which is forked lightning. And then scale forked lightning with empowerment will make it disgusting. Um... We can do that. Are we gonna get? We just got gold from middle barracks, which means we can almost get a stronghold. That's really good. Which means red is essentially dead. His fortress is up for grabs. He cannot summon any more heroes. Uh, this is a pretty big wave coming down bottom. I don't have the ability to voodoo spirits. I can do a stasis lock though. The other thing is we can't get this upgrade when we get the gold because we need to stasis lock before we use this because we can't stasis lock while we're upgrading. It's really not that big of a wave, actually. Oh, never mind. And he just T3'd, actually. Okay, that was his chain lightning. Nice. I just, I need to like focus like this big, all of these yummy, juicy like archers and the huntresses. Yes. Uh, let's. How's everything looking? Good, they're focusing a tower. Just don't hit the barracks. Just don't hit the barracks and it's all okay. Okay, well don't hit that either. Hmm. Okay, so let me like... Where's the hero? Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good. His hero literally ran away. Can you come back, please, Mr. Hero? Speaking of which, our hero is still over there. <laughs> Battle Master is just tanking away, dude. We're going Stronghold now. Okay, it's time for the fun to happen. We need T3 every lane. So that's T2, that's T2. These have to get upgraded because they add the final caster, which is... Just having two casters per wave. Um, let's see what's happening here. I'm a little concerned about here. Are we doing okay? I think we're doing okay. It just looks weird. He summoned the hero, but he summoned his hero late, which or early, which means that it's going to be Blood Knight versus Shadow Priest. Blast. Okay, Battle Master finally died. Um, this is about to get upgraded. Fourth Lightning hits five targets, but with the help of basic empowerment, it'll be six. Along with our Hex adding one second duration, so it's five seconds. Healing Wave adding a bounce. This is where our, like, our build actually takes off now. It's been, how long? 28 minutes? This is, this is where we come in, boys. I, honestly, I want to say we might be able to kill this guy. Like, if I can tank it, we'll be alright. Who has Lumber Mill again? Do we, we need to try to hold hold control of this for life regen for our bottom guy and for this tower. Um, it's definitely time to get mind control now too. We're going to start seeing some mind control procs in a little bit. Uh, I may want to get mono regen as well. Mono regen for buildings is super important. And I don't want to get this. This is really expensive. But we can get thorium spears. 
Spears also work for our towers. This ward bear is stunning everything. This guy is awesome. He's this little dude here who has the uh, stasis ward that stuns for three seconds. We did get empowerment. I can get another empowerment upgrade, but it's 1k gold. Pretty expensive. Totally worth it. But it may be better to like just rush T3 instead and get an extra unit in the top lane because T3 is big. Consider he's T4. He's tier 4. He can't push against this yet. Oh, there's the voodoo proc. There's one. Okay. Do we have chain lightning now? Is that the chain lightning that I saw? Yep, we got chain lightning now. Get him, chain lightning. Zap him, dude. Oh, well, actually, it's forked lightning. That's how insane unit upgrades can be. Is literally my T4 is winning against his T2. Or sorry, my T2 is winning against his tier 4. So let's upgrade for T3. He probably has the mana to do Starfall. Starfall will wipe out all of these units. It's a gigantic, like, you'll see, like, a chunk in mana go down if he uses it. If he doesn't use it, he may lose this barracks. Okay, instead he entangled. Uh, red lost his fortress. Someone got a ton of lever gold. There's the fork lightning doing work. Let's go T3 middle. Okay. That's Starfall, but I think that's that character's Starfall. It's a fake Starfall. His hero is about to die. His hero is so close to dying. Feels voodoo proc. Can we get voodoo again? Is it being researched? Okay, voodoo has to be on permanent research now. Uh, we have enough for T3. Let's go T3 in mid. We're also pushing against him on this side. Quelth loss. I think that's... This guy sent a hero here or here strange oh i guess oh he's sending to defend against green because green is now pushing like this so here's the benefit green has green gets neutral bonus neutral bonus and neutral bonus neutral bonus if he's pushed all the way since red has been taken out of the game uh let's keep getting our thorium spears as well i mm, this is really important it's so good dude it's so good actually no yellow sent the hero mid just kidding there's- oh, mind control. JK, sorry. Mind control is very important. Uh, yellow went AFK. I don't know why, but he went AFK. Feels yellow, man. I guess after he T4'd and it didn't work, he felt bad. Uh, Shadow Hunter just died. We're gonna go with- that was our bottom hero, right? I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go greedy and I'm gonna get another point of empowerment, which is, I think, capped for it. These witch doctors are doing good. Come on, guys, before you die, can we get more fork lightning? Yes, there's one. Do it again. Do it again. You, go, fork lightning. Oh, we healed him. Get him. Get him, buddy. Fork lightning, show me. Do it. Do it. Re. No fork lightning today, boys. Uh, we'll probably send Battle Master down bottom to tank. He actually rushed T4 now. Um, he. Yeah, I have to get T4 as well at some point. T4 gives him these these guys in the back that have, you know, a ton of damage. He's got so many bonuses, too, from taking over this side. Um, that's kind of scary with, like, his GPM at the moment. Uh, what should we do? We need to save for Battlemaster to run bottom. We just got our empowerments. Those are all done. Um, we're putting pressure against him. He's not AFK anymore. He just used his base skill. I guess we can play it safe and, like... Um, there. Burning oil is going to be good for doing damage to like... Oh, are we going to... No, we're not going to kill it. It's nice for like sieging these. I should have honestly gotten some of these upgrades like way sooner. Our Shadow Priest is going to go down soon. Okay, so these are pushing... Um... Are we good? Can we defend here? Yes, we can. We can. Oh, man. This is going to be awesome. Towers attack. Summon. Witch Doctors. Battle Master. Out you go, buddy. Get him, buddy. Uh, I'm going to summon some bears just in case because I don't want my building to take damage here. Summon another one right now. Do I need to stasis lock? I will just in case. It's, it's not that expensive on the mana. He is pushing up. I have to be careful of him, but not right now. He's pretty much nothing right now. 
Let's do another heal over here. Our battle master took some extreme amounts of damage. Maybe I should have went minus unit damage just based off how much shit is here, but the slow is also really nice too. It prevents them from surrounding you. He may actually die. He's probably going to die because there's so many units, which means I need to summon a shadow priest. And maybe I should have done voodoo spirits instead. Hopefully this guy's like not too far in... Okay, no, this, this is good, this is good. They moved into tower range now, that's good. Uh, it's okay, Battlemaster died. I'll summon him top. He did He did a really good job at tanking the T4. I'm just a little concerned now because like I can't push them out. Fucking Night Elf, dude. Night Elf is a monster. <laughs> Night Elf is a monster. This is not good right now. Alright, we pretty much have to do Voodoo Spirits. Is he going to die? Is he going to live? He's going to die. <sighs> no, he lit. He died. Okay. T4. That guy's scary. I don't like bottom. I think this is a giant silence, so I'm not going to summon any units from it. I would like to hit this back line as well. Okay, he leveled. Let's get some witch doctors to help push. Okay, I'm behind on unit upgrades. I need just straight basic unit upgrades. At least I feel I'm fucking behind on unit upgrades. I think I need to get regen as well. Uh, up heal. Okay, we're good there. Need mind control again. He has T4 as well. I need tier 4. Is he gonna die? Oh my god, dude. These guys are all so fucking mad now. All my dudes are dying. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge, team help. Battle Master Re. Actually, no, he's fine. He's a tank. Even though he did die earlier, but he's a tank. I mean, there's this dude in mid. I want to just, like, send this guy over here. Arcanite Spear 7. Okay, so that's, like, really good in terms of upgrades. Let's get some melee damage. Kalimdor must be saved. I wonder if he sent the big boy. I'm scared because I'm pretty sure green can do ultimate weapon, but he hasn't gotten ultimate weapon yet. Ultimate weapon is unfun. It's, it's over here that you can see. Are we going to kill him? Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Nice. I got the gold for that. Another hero being summoned. I'm going to get mono regen for buildings. Uh, I'm also going to get this chance to block. I think this is like kind of what's fucking me over as well. Having this, even though it's really expensive, makes a big difference. I also just realized I fucked up again because I'm supposed to be going T4. I need to go T4 as soon as I can. I need to go T4, and I need to, like, get ultimate weapon. I don't know which is more important right now. To be honest, probably ultimate weapon. Okay, I think we're taking this barracks, and maybe we're taking this barracks, unless he does Starfall. He's saving mana. Okay, there's Starfall. Come on, take it anyway. Come on, boys, you can do it. You can do it, team! 
Damn, his wave just spawned. We could ultimate weapon snipe it out. That is an option. I don't think he'd be happy if I did that, but it's an option. Okay, what do we need to research now? Definitely damage. No, fuck, I'm supposed to T4. God damn it, chat, you're supposed to yell at me, Kappa. We somehow took this over. That's kind of cool. Yellow went AFK again. Impenetrable hide. I need to get this barricades upgrade. Green sent out a hero from there. We're actually attacking him now from top. His starfall is not up. You don't have starfall today, buddy. I know because he just used it. Uh, this is actually going to send first, so I'm just going to T4 this. We got a voodoo proc. Hmm. Oh, but his hero has starfall. Unfun. Wait, he doesn't have a hero bottom. Okay, this is probably ours. Oh, he actually juggled it. He juggled aggro, I think. But I think we're still taking it over. Okay, give me this. Um, I believe now... I believe... That... Oh, we took his barracks. Awesome. I can get ultimate weapon. And I can just ping and pop this barracks here. He's a surrender monkey. Oh, he killed everything. Wow! We don't get any bonus gold. That's so messed up, dude. They got all the bonus gold for killing this guy, but this guy's just like, sorry, dude, you can't take my gold. Unfun. All right, this is alarming here, but he has no hero, so that's really good. Um, if I save gold, I can send Kodo Tower, which is really big. He's a really mad, he's very mad. Um, but to do that, I would need to do Voodoo Spirits 100%. Which means I'm stalling my ultimate weapon. Is it okay that I stall my ultimate weapon? Hmm. I'm not stalling my ultimate weapon. Because if I stall my ultimate weapon, he can somehow heal this thing. So I'm just going. I'm going straight aggression. Green's units came too. Oh, let's see who gets the kill on this though. 2100. I got the kill. Nice. But he got the, the push. Oh, look at that. We can even get Kodo Tower. So we're going to pick ultimate weapon. What do I need? Oh, I need, I need just higher level upgrades. Okay, we can do that. I want to fucking ping that building and kill it. That's why. Kodo Tower! Okay, so I needed level 8 of, like, everything for the most part, so... 1, and then I need this one, and then I need the last one. Now, there's another option I can do. Instead of, instead of doing the boom boom, I can go mana drain, but if I go mana drain, he can, like, just cancel it. So, I'm just gonna go with, uh... I'm gonna go with the original strat. Also, his hero is pushing up here. I don't want his hero to push up here, and I never went T4 up here. Fuck, so I have to wait. I was gonna send a hero to counter, but that's not gonna work, so. Let me send a row of casters with this guy as well. Almost ultimate weapon time! 2300? Oh yeah, this is, this is dead. He does have a hero mid, and I just used pretty much everything, but it's not that strong. It doesn't look that strong, at least, so here we go. Okay, hit in the back. Can we, can we like, hit these guys? Can we hit the siege units? Is that possible? I don't think so. Oh, not enough gold to make another hero. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, I fucked something up, too. Let's see, what do I need to do here? Maybe stun here, and then summon Shadow Hunter. Actually, no, he's about to die already. God damn it, dude, this guy does so much damage with his units. We may actually, you know what, we may be dead. We may, like, I don't know what happened. 
I don't know, dude. He just he just killed all my dudes. Here, I'm gonna try to toggle aggro and hit this guy with my fortress, which will pull like everything into my base. But it's probably too late. Okay, one barracks went down. What am I missing? I don't understand. It's hard to like see fucking unit upgrades like this, but Okay, that's too many units hitting now. <laughs> Why is Night Elf so strong, dude? I felt like I played correctly. What what upgrades do I need, team? Oh, six. I need an armor upgrade. Fuck. Nope. Well, that's game, unfortunately. He got me, boys. I'm sad. I think it's because now that he pushed, he just has so many, like, build neutral building upgrades. So he has, like, all the auras on his guys. I guess the only thing I really could have done is, like, I could have gotten, like, impenetrable hide which would have definitely made a bigger a bigger difference but it's just so expensive early game anyway that's pretty much the game it's a lot of fun it's called survival chaos um in my opinion the game is not really very balanced i don't say that as like a like a negative thing i just say it as like you you're not gonna win 100 percent of your games it's never gonna happen because rng is a very big factor in this game um regarding like your gpm and who leaves and who doesn't leave like for example you can see here um, I'm higher gold per minute than him, but he still has a stronger like unit force uh, And that's also heavily influenced by race versus race and foundation bonus versus foundation bonus And it's a lot of other things, but it's a lot of fun nonetheless And if you guys are curious to check the map out uh, Remember that all you have to do All you have to do is connect to Battle.net and You can just look for the ent bots that host the game Um it's called ent.15. You can always just add it as a friend who is, and uh, it'll tell you. Oops. Who is? There. Ent number 87. So you can just copy paste the game name, type it in, 87, and you'll see. Well, it's full now, but that's pretty much how you get in. When it gets, when it gets finished, you just close it out and you go 88. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for maps that you'd like for me to showcase on here, feel free to drop them down below. Just know I've probably covered all of them, just not on YouTube, that's all. <laughs> so have a wonderful time, everybody. Take care.